So you have a smart contract that you want to deploy to a testnet or a mainnet uh, and I'm going to show you the easiest and most convenient way to do it. Uh, we are going to be using something called third web deploy. It's a combination of a CLI tool uh, and a UI that lets you deploy any smart contract of your choice uh, without having to deal with bare private keys. So it just like lets you connect your wallet to a UI and it deploys a contract for you. Maybe if you have used something like Remix before, you, you might have an idea of what I'm talking about. But if you don't, don't worry. We are just going to run, run you through everything right here, right now. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just get started. Let's just deploy some contracts using third web deploy. So I have a hard hat project in front of me right now, uh, but note that third web deploy works with hard hat, foundry, truffle and brownie. So as long as you're using one of these four, uh, you should be fine. You should be able to use this tool without having to worry about anything. It just works out of the box. Uh, so I have three contracts going for me. Uh, I have a greater contract. It's like a hello world solidity contract, uh, like a simple NFT ERC721 and a simple ERC20 token. We are going to be deploying all three of these one after the other. So let's just start with the greater. Now, all you need to do to follow along is to uh, have a project with some contracts in it and open a terminal window at the root of that project. Uh, so as you can see, I opened it at the root of my project. Uh, and all you need to do is run npx third web deploy. Yes, we want to install it. And yeah, we got some nice uh, ASCII art. Uh, it will compile our contracts. It will upload the uh, artifacts slash the ABI to IPFS. And then it will uh, pro take us to a UI where we can uh, actually connect our wallet and deploy the contract. So let's select greeter, hit enter. It will upload the contract data to IPFS now. And it opens up this UI for us uh, and we can now deploy a contract. As you can see, uh, I have already connected my wallet. Uh, so you'll probably have to do that if you're doing this for the first time. Uh, once you do that, uh, select the network you want to deploy your contract to. This is another great thing about this uh, tool. It just lets you deploy anything to all of these different networks without having to change anything. Like I, I did not specify anything inside of my contracts or inside of the command I ran that I want to deploy to a specific network. It just works out of the box. So yeah, let's just deploy to, let's say, Optimism Testnet. Why not? Uh, and set the greeting to GM. Uh, so yeah, before we hit deploy now, uh, you'll see that it will actually trigger two transactions. So the first transaction is for the actual contract deployment. And the second transaction is, is for adding this contract to your third web dashboard. Now this is an optional step. You don't have to do it. But if you do that, it, it actually adds this contract to, of course, your third web dashboard. Uh, so let me try to show, show it to you. Uh, so this is what your third web dashboard looks like. So if you have deployed any contracts before, it will like just stay in this dashboard so that you can interact with them later on. Uh, this is my token deployed on Polygon mainnet. Uh, and yeah, I can just easily interact with it anytime I want. So this is an optional step. It, you don't have to do it, but it's nice to do it if you want to like uh, make use of the UI and their SDKs and whatnot. Uh, yeah, they provide all these SDKs for you. So yeah, and also note that this does not give any ownership of the contract to third web. They don't have any control over your contracts. You are the owner, you are deploying the contract. And even if you do the second transaction, it doesn't affect anything. It doesn't affect your contract. This is, uh, you are actually just interacting with one of their proxy contracts, which just adds your contract's address to that proxy. It's actually not even interacting with your contract. So no need to worry on that front. So I'm just gonna uh, do both of those. Uh, we'll switch to the Optimism testnet and let's deploy our contract. Uh, can hit confirm. <coughs> we'll just now wait for it to get deployed. Um, and that was fast. It's, the contract has now been deployed and we should see 
the contract address and our functions conveniently lined up uh, in front of us. So we can just call this function for example and also interact with it. Let's just do gmgm. -gm. Um, and yeah, there we go. If we run this function again, it should be updated. So that's all it takes. If we go to uh, this address on the testnet explorer actually, uh, what is it? Okay. Our contract is there. It's live, it's for anyone to use. Awesome. Now let's deploy, let's also deploy the NFT and the token because there's some, there's some ni nice details when you deploy uh, any ERC20 or ERC721 that are actually very useful. So let's wait for this to get compiled. Let's select our NFT now. Awesome. Let's actually deploy this NFT to a different network. Let's deploy this to Goalie. Why not? Um, let's just grab a token URI, um, IPFS, and mint cost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's like point zero 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 one ETH. Switch wallet to Goalie. Let's hit deploy. Confirm. Now we just wait because goalie can be slow. Okay, so it actually deployed the contract and now this is just to add a contract to a third web dash dashboard. I'm gonna confirm this. Awesome. We have our NFT contract deployed to this address. We can just go and check, see what it looks like. Yep, it was deployed and we can interact with it uh, from this UI. I don't know, let's just call the name function and see what it returns, my NFT. Let's actually mint an NFT for ourselves because why not? Uh, let's send, we have to send some ETH, uh, execute. Hit confirm and let's just wait for the transaction to Get process goalie can be a bit slow sometimes awesome we we just minted an nft uh, using this uh, contract we just deployed okay uh, the last contract let's deploy the erc20 token now uh, again let's just bring up our terminal run npx server deploy let it compile the contract select my token this time around cool let's actually deploy this to mumbai why not uh i hope i have some mumbai uh testnet matic uh let's set the initial supply to something like i don't know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that's like 10 eth uh deploy now switch wallet to mumbai this is so convenient like it just yeah, it just does everything for me. I love it. Uh, hit confirm to deploy the contract. And to add it to our dashboard on third web, again, optional, but if you want to do it, it's, it's nice to have this uh, list of contracts on your dashboard so that you can go back to them later on. I'm gonna hit confirm. Awesome, uh, it looks like it deployed a contract successfully and it also minted some uh, tokens uh, for us because remember that's what we had in our code, just mint some uh, tokens to the sender of the con uh, message dot sender, the, the account that created the contract. So let's just check our balance. And uh, since we are supposed to be the owners of the contract, we should have some balance in our account. Let's hit run and there we go, we, we have some tokens minted to us already. Awesome, uh, if you go to this tab, it will show you some nice insights, on like how many tokens you have, what's the total supply, what's the decimal and everything. You can actually mint some tokens uh, using their 
okay i need to you need to add this to your contract if you want to use this but hey yeah that's that's there for you if you want to do it uh, or you can always just use this function oh i actually did not create <laughs> did not create a function a min function but anyways you get the point so that's it uh, we just deployed three different contracts using third web deploy without having to interact with any bare private keys uh, if you uh, if you have used hard hat before or like even foundry you'd know that you'd have to like create a dot env file in your project and like use an actual private key store it here in this file and make sure that it does not get committed to github uh, and i know so many people who have lost funds that way like even even some people who have been in this space for like months you can just forget to do it sometimes like it's just always nice to not deal with bare private keys at all it's just a bad idea to do that like i would i would feel anxious even having copied a private key on my clipboard it's just a bad idea never do that when you have tools like this just run npx third web deploy connect your wallet and deploy it to the network of your choice that's it from my side uh, if you have any questions for me or any suggestions any any tools that you feel like are doing a better job than this one uh, let me know in the comments uh, or you can always reach out to me on twitter uh, i also linked my twitter down in the description and it's probably also showing up somewhere right around here uh, and yeah have a good day uh, i'll see you around